I go running in the mornings and sometimes it's dark. But I wear, because I have an overabundance of black shirts and black shorts, I don't know why, but I wear dark clothing, which is not always smart because sometimes it's dark when I'm running. And one time I was running and I was running across the street and this car came right out and I could feel the bumper against my shorts. It was almost an accident. And it really wasn't their fault, it was mine. I wasn't wearing bright colors when it was dark outside. So I changed, not, not that day, but I changed going forward how I would wear and what I would wear because that event changed me. Thank God it didn't change me in other ways. So I changed my attitude going forward, a big event. Well, brothers and sisters, that's what the gospel today is all about. There's been a big event. The bridegroom is here. Jesus Christ is with us. The Savior of the world, who the entire world was waiting for, the entire Jewish world had been waiting for for thousands of years, he had arrived in this gospel, and he has arrived now. So has life changed after that event, or is life still the same? Do we dictate the terms of life, or does his presence dictate terms of our lives? If we're still living life as if he isn't powerful, he isn't all-powerful, all-loving, all-forgiving, if we're living on our own terms, then something is terribly wrong and we will meet our end. However, if his presence has changed our life, then our lives must reflect that. Like here in the gospel, the, the disciples are doing things that none of the others had done. That's because their lives have been changed. Are our lives changed or are they not? He has changed our lives, brothers and sisters. He has opened up a whole new realm for us, a whole new world that we can enter, and it begins here. We can enter here. We don't have to wait till we die to get to heaven. We are in his presence, in the divine, here. We receive the divine, here. Brothers and sisters, that is how our life has changed. We have interrupted our day to come to this place, and it's not an interruption at all. We're allowing him to break through because our lives have changed and our lives beginning today will change forever because of who we receive today. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Please stand.